Hey guys, so um, I'm just doing a quick video, mainly for Mal, um, just to show him how um, remote play works, sort of. Uh, I only have a few minutes before I gotta book it because I'm already pretty late for work, but um, this is PS4 remote play. It's up here, but once you open it, this is what you'll see. You might not see this message. This is after my controller's plugged in. Um, once you're, you, you're gonna have to have a controller plugged into your computer with USB. Um, I think you can do a Bluetooth too, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but for this I'm just going to do the USB method. So in settings, um, you got to sign in here. I don't know why it's not saying I'm signed in, but sign in with your account, what, whatever re resolution. If you've got a good computer, you know, you could probably go up to 1080 or, you know, high frame rate, whatever. Actually, I want to do this. I had that to standard to help Banana, but now he's not using it, so I'm going to up that. And then... Yeah, uh, which PS4 to connect to. You're going to want to change this, and then whenever that happens, there's another thing you're going to have to do. So I'm going to cancel out of this for a second and show you my PlayStation. So actually, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to log into this. So Whenever you press Options, you'll see this. Once you're all signed in and everything's working. You're not going to do this yet, but this is how what it looks like. And then it shows up, and there's my PlayStation, right? Um... But what you want to do is go over into settings and uh, connections, isn't it? Wait. Oh, remote play. Okay, yeah. It's just that easy. <laughs> remote play connection settings. And then enable remote play. And once that's enabled, if you sign in with uh, the app, you might have to add a device. I can't do it right now. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow the directions on both this Add Device menu and on, uh, oh yeah, the like Options menu in this that I was showing you a second ago. Um, and once that's all set up, you're, you're good to go. All, all you'll have to do after that is, like I just showed you, uh, plug in your controller, press Options, it'll sign in. And yeah, you'll have access to your PS4. You won't have any block scenes or anything. And yeah, there should be next to no lag, depending on your connection. There is a little bit, but um, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just download the app, put in your settings, go into your PlayStation settings, remote play, add device, and there you go. You're pretty much set. And then if you want to use it in Streamlabs, make a window, window capture. So I'll just make one right quick. Uh, or window capture. I'm sure you know how to do this, but add a window capture. Add a new source. All right, and then in this win window, you'll see PS4 Remote Play. Once you actually have the game open. Oh, and another tip is press Alt-Enter to full screen this, and then just Alt-Tab out of it. Because that way, whenever you go in here, it will be full screen, and if it's all fucked up like that, just transform, uh, fit to screen, and you're good. Um, but if you don't full screen this, you'll have these black borders on your uh, on your stream. So just full screen it, and you should be good. Transform, fit to screen, or you can like resize it yourself. Uh, or whatever. There's a lot of different ways to make it fit. But anyways, ha, that's what she said. Um, but yeah, that should be everything. If you have any other questions, let me know uh, on Discord or something. I should still be able to check Discord while I'm at work. So hopefully this helps, Mal. Have fun with FF7. Have a wicked day, guys. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.